Okay, and I'm back. As you can see exactly where I left off, I got a phone call from my mother's uh, kidney transplant thing. Uh, my mother's kidney has failed and she's on dialysis, so uh, that's definitely a call I had to take. <laughs> Anyway, I'm looking at my talking points to see what I should probably talk about next. We could work together on this. I could talk more about the character Edward here. Um, he's pretty cool. I mentioned that I don't care to play this uh, yet another white guy, but you know I really like this guy. He he really grew on me. Um. He's very well written. I like I like his personality. I also like how his lifestyle is depicted. It sort of plays it up a little bit. But it's at the end of the game, most of who he knows is dead in some fashion. He may I forget exactly. Oh, ow. At the end of the game, I forget who all he's with at the time. Other than his daughter, which he reconnects with, which is pretty cool. Except in the lore, um, his daughter doesn't like him very much when she grows up, which is unfortunate. Because he's not a perfect man, and he's not even particularly a hero. But he's likable, you know? Like, you care about what he goes through. But the, the whole game does a pretty good job on showing how detrimental the life of piracy can be. Alright, let's see. I hold E. There we go. <laughs> I still got it, you guys. <laughs> got him in one attack. To be fair, he was kind of wounded to begin with. You've played assassins in other games, and they're legion clear badasses. So one pirate took him down. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste. And trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano <laughs> Torres y Ayala. Eventually, I can wear different outfits. Let's collect your reward. Did he clean the outfit though? I just. You saw his body. He was bloody from all over the neck. Yeah, good job putting on the hood and then taking it off, dumbass. It's hot. <laughs> oh shit. That school no do we just fine. See? Oh, whoops. Come on, get back up there. Synchronize. That schooner he's going for. That's good. They spit. I can't talk. Jesus. That becomes the jackdaw, which he names later. What other talking points do I have? Oh yeah, I forgot one of the games on my list of favorites, um, Assassin's Creed Rogue, which is released somewhere. Ah, get off the thing. Released sometime around Syndicate, I think. Which means it didn't get a lot of attention. Rogue is a lot more of Black Flag, except it's a bit more rushed somehow. It just seems like it's more faster paced, which I think is to its detriment because I really enjoy Black Flag, and it takes its time. Like I said, I've got through 71 hours. That's only like one or two playthroughs. But um. If you like this game, which you should because it's great, if you're even a vague fan of this series, you should probably find yourself in possession of this game.
Oh, damn. And if you like this game, Rogue is probably a fine addition to your naval combat Assassin's Creed games because it does a lot of the naval combat. See, he was he was winding up there because I was sprinting, and they can they can wind up their swords and really mess you up. They do the thing that same mechanic to horses. I don't know if there's any horses in this one. I forget. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. That yours. Cool thing about another cool thing about Black Flag, and I'm actually reaching the end of my talking points that I've written down, which is regrettable because <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But right now, I'm just trying to sell the game to people. Another great thing about this game is I don't actually even own all the DLC, which it just goes to prove how standalone this game can be. It can stand on its own two feet, which I think is what I mentioned in the end of my review. is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. You put me at ease. I don't have the Freedom Cry DLC, which which puts you in the role of... I think his name is Adewale. Uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But I haven't played that either. All things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? This guy's a little ponce. I don't think life goes well for him. I think he actually becomes a pirate, I think, near the end of this game. A rowboat, I'm and and he, has, he has the same mannerisms. Hardly like, he, ne he never really happen. changes. Come on. There we go. But, as Good far as I life. remember, I think he dies at sea right after he starts his life of piracy. I know, it's a little spoilery, but, you know... It's, it's, how old is this game? Two, three years old? So, fuck off. <laughs> and now, I'm going to go ahead and end this particular segment of an episode and start another one. And this is where it kind of teaches you how to really navigate with the ship controls.